Good morning, Youngstown Click. Hey, I am here about to have some breakfast at East Side Civics. This is my first time having breakfast here, but I've heard so much good things about it. So many good things about it. Um, a friend of mine, a couple years ago, uh, we decided to hit up all the breakfast spots in, uh, in this area um, one time a week. And we quickly ran out of options and I had no idea that they had breakfast here until somewhat recently when I actually interviewed uh, the Unity in the community here when they were doing their fundraiser. So anyway, Eastside Civics is a place um, that is kind of out of the way, but they have great food. And I'm gonna show you inside, there's pool tables. And a lot of times people think that places like this are members only, but here's the thing. If you are a member, there's certain benefits and certain certain things that you get, but you don't have to be a member to come. So I'm about to show you, I'm gonna turn this around, I'm gonna walk inside, I'm gonna show you where to push the buzzer to actually get the door open, and then I'm gonna show you some of the delicious breakfast that we get to try. They have bike runs, they have all kinds of events here. Um, they're always giving back to the community, they're always doing things to actually help uh, and better the community. So I really, really appreciate that as well. So let me turn this around real quick. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And here is my breakfast eating partner, Michelle. You guys remember Michelle from Shalabella's. Hi. And so we came out here to try the breakfast. And go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, my name's Matt Sawachko. Uh, I've known Lori for probably 20 years. Lori, uh, and now Lori is the owner here? Yes. Or she's the one who runs it? Yes. yes. Okay. She runs it. And actually, her family and my mom's family grew up together on the east side. So there's a lot of history between... Oh. The family, so that's the acquaintance. No, I just know they were on South Avenue, and then I think yeah. they moved up to this one. Um, this yeah. one used to be Pal Joey's, and then I think they that's just moved right. up to this one. Right. Okay. Got it. So, got yeah. it. Got it. Okay. Anything? Any other? What's your favorite breakfast? What do you do? You actually come here to eat and stuff? Yes. Okay. Yes. What's we'll your favorite? Around. What's we'll your favorite around. suggestions? Um, the breakfasts are great. The breakfast sandwiches are phenomenal. Oh, good. We got yes. that. That's what yes. we ordered. The breakfast okay. sandwich, and they do a. I don't want to say they do like a, a, a shoestring. Hash brown. So Ooh. it's not, you know, you can get whatever you want. You can get potatoes, Very you can get the regular hash browns. But what they do is they do like a shaving okay. um, with the potato and it comes like in a bird's nest. And they were good. I had them when I was on uh, vacation. I came here for breakfast and had that. And oh. that was awesome. I said I would try it. Their wings are good. My father-in-law got the Philly steak sandwiches two weeks ago. Okay. And it, it was huge. It was, yeah. it was unbelievable. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited to try. Yes. I'm so excited. Yes. I was here for an event. They did a fundraising event for uh, Rowan, and they had the bands back there and stuff, and I yes. love how they do so many runs, so many different things yeah. for the community. Yes, and Lori, that's, awesome. that's that's the best thing about Lori. She she brings that old school, like I said, her family yeah. and my mom grew up, they grew up across the street from each other, okay. and they, they try to keep that alive, and that's what Lori's trying to do right now. She's just trying to keep giving back. She always yeah. gives back. You know, every holiday she always gives something back at the bar. Uh, she does the bike runs. Bringing people and together yes. and just, that's yes. amazing. Yes. So, okay, so you are a Budweiser driver. Yes. Tell us, what's your favorite, what, I don't know, just off the top of your head, favorite beer? My favorite beer? <laughs> yeah, that you deliver, that you deliver. <laughs> deliver? If it's another company, don't say it. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, um, Budweiser Platinum is very good. Okay. Uh, it's very, it's very good. Um, I drink regular Budweiser. Got it. Um, now, being that we merged, you know. Oh, did you merge? Well, um, InBev took us over from Germany, so now we oh. do we do carry Stella, and Stella is also one of my favorites. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And how the recent owner, was that? The owner of the company actually has Corona from the other side, which is the Tri County side of the company. So oh. Tri I, I also enjoy Corona too. So. Man, so you guys are really uh, yes. now together representing a lot. Oh yeah, we got we're, we're carrying Yingling on the truck also. Okay. And like I said, ever since they came together with InBev, we carry a bunch of different brands of beers. Got it. Yeah. Guinness is a German one. Is that Guinness? Yeah, we as well? carry Guinness through the Tri County wow. side. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, so, thank you so much. Oh, right. hey, you know what? You actually, uh, Michelle was saying how you know so much because you're always delivering. So um, I'll just ask you a spontaneous question. <laughs> Other than Eastside Civics, um, maybe th two or three other places that you highly recommend for people to go check out. <sighs> well, we have a son, so I, we, we haven't been out much, but I know um, we've been downtown. Okay, downtown. We've been downtown. downtown. I mean, okay. V two is uh, it was a hangout that we used to go Got to. Got it. Also. Okay. V okay. two, and then um, where else? Well, I used to get my great lunches from Shella Bella's. Oh, she was I open. know. She yeah. She took care of me with my salad, so oh. I'm gonna give her props for that. Nice. And um, where else have I really been? We went to the Oaks. Royal Oaks. Yes, they're, oh. ra they're raspberry wings. Okay. Okay. Yes. Royal Oaks. Yeah, yes. I have to go down there and try those. I haven't been yeah. down there in quite a while. 
Okay. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking okay. a minute. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So I am going to let them talk. I'm going to head in here, guys. I want to show you. This is the door that you go in. Okay. And it looks kind of like, okay, so here the door, we just left the door open, but um, don't worry about the sign. This is for members only. Um, it's the membership card, so they don't have to ring the buzzer, but this is the buzzer that you want to ring. Okay. When you ring the buzzer, it buzzes on the inside and then they open the door for you. Okay. So you don't have to be a member. You don't have to be scared to come in here. And then you come in here and, um, we're, we're sitting up here, but you have your choice of seats. Um, they also have like bands, they have comedy night here, um, and they have obviously great food as you heard outside. You could come play pool and just enjoy yourself with some good friends um, and uh, try something new. Oh, I love darts. Let me just, oh, I don't know if they have any darts out. You probably have to get them out with the bar, but I think I'm pretty good at darts. So anyway, um, yeah, let me show you some food when we get it. So here we are with the owner, Lori Greenwald, and Belaine Marsicola, the cook, the creative cook um, that, that makes such delicious things. Wait till I show you guys. I'm going to actually show you a couple of the things, but he makes this uh, dessert. That dessert was amazing. The crispy, uh, wh whatever that, the what it's would you call hybrid, that? like a uh, little pan creation that I've, I've been in on my own. It's uh, basically like a, like a biscuit slash donut. Yeah. Uh, along with, uh, you know, your personal toppings and whipped cream that I make homemade made as well. So good. Uh, the crispiness of it, it was like the, it was perfect. It wasn't mushy, it wasn't chewy. Yep. It was great. So anyway, all right. So tell us a little bit about this place. Uh, Lori, this has been in your family for quite some time. Yes. Right? Okay, so tell us a little bit about that. Uh, my brother-in-law's father had it for 40 years, Joe Guerreri. Okay. And now I've had it for like 22 years. Okay. Me and Paul Guerreri have had it. And uh, we moved here on Midlothian six years ago in February. Got it. And that's when we started really moving with the kitchen. Nice. When we brought Blaine on, it just picked up a lot. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I can see that. You have a, such a great menu. Thank you. That's, Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your offerings and uh, you, you just seem so creative. Like you seem you, like you love what you do. So tell us a little yeah. bit about like and, uh, what brought you to this point and, and what your favorite things are on the menu. Well, um, so I was, uh, after uh, you know a section of my life uh, passed, my kids were older. I had a little more freedom to pick and choose what I preferred to do okay. for a living, rather than just have to take things. Yeah. Okay. So um, I wanted to always pursue this because uh, it was something I'd love to do in the morning with my kids, uh, my son, and my daughter, nice. making them breakfast. And uh, it just never really felt like true work to me. Wow. But I was afraid to do it in, in case it ever did turn into that. Because you know, right. <laughs> right. 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 And uh, so then uh, COVID happened. And I was doing a little couple of days here and there while I was managing. And uh, we were just trying to come up with a way to stay properly afloat since we're a club. We have certain hours we run. Yeah. And those hours got pulled back at okay. night. So we started to open them up in the beginning. And, that was uh, super creative. Yeah. She suggested breakfast and I said, let's do a menu. And true, just, true. Everything that is served was designed by us two. Yeah. Period. Okay. So speaking of that, let's talk about the what was that thing called that I got? The Civics Mix. The yeah. Civics Mix, guys. You've got to try the Civics Mix. It's like five breakfasts and breakfasts, breakfast in one. It is. Uh, tell us a little bit about what they're going to get with that. Well, the she she's the one who came up with that one. I was on a fence up on it at first because I just felt like like a, you know just a put together thing, but the design of it. Yeah. Started coming together and it looked amazing and I was like, this might be a thing. And, and now it's your most popular. Yeah. It's your most popular yeah. breakfast is what, yeah, one of the most popular breakfasts. That's amazing. That's so cool. All right. So Lori, you, um, I, so many people say that you bring people together. You have events here. You're always giving back to the community. I just talked to uh, the Budweiser guy outside and, <laughs> and that's what he said too. So that's so amazing. So is that's your kind of your heart here? I, I, I joked and said, it's kind of like cheers. Um, it bring, where everybody knows your name and everybody. Um, and, and I already told them you don't have to be a member. So it's pretty much that's your heart is just to make everybody feel welcome and Get people right, to the and doors. eventually they do. They do their visits once or twice, and then they want to become a member. So Got they it. Make them the cards and now, what does a member come in? You know, everybody. That's where you want to be. 
Got it. What's what's uh, member include? Like, what does that? What's the benefit of membership? It's the member of or the um, benefit of the membership is you know you have your card you come you get in you don't have you, to buzz in right no, okay no, okay you and you, you are card? you know you are just a member a lot of the people that come in they just eat okay you know yeah. basically you are supposed to be a member but yeah. since COVID we've opened it up and we've gained a lot more members from since then that's awesome you know? it really kind of keeps things going yeah. and it is a club. So yeah. a lot of times people see bar, restaurant, but it really is at the heart a club that brings yes. people together. So that probably, um, for I guess that explains for me the feel that I have when I come in here that a lot of people know each other. It's not just like going to a random restaurant, right? And you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, will be sitting at a table and you got 15 guys here. Shooting yeah. the breeze across the bar. I mean, everybody's in everybody's conversation. The, the oh, language wow. sometimes goes around, but then like we try to keep it again, like, like, <laughs> right. like when grandma's home, and everyone kind of hushes up a little bit. Right, right. You know, it, <laughs> that's it, so it, it works. It works. I love it. I love it. So tomorrow night you're having a band, yes. and you're starting to have regular bands again. So let, tell us a little bit about how they could um, find out who you're having and um, and so on. Well, uh, we put the bands on Facebook. Okay. We promote them that way. Tomorrow night we're having um, Hot Rod Willie. Okay. I think it's their first time out. Oh. One of the members was from the Plush Group, so we're looking forward to having them here. Got it. And they just set up over, where do they set up? They set up on our dance floor. We move okay. our pool tables and cover them, and that ah. becomes a stage. Okay. Okay. And this Very becomes cool. our dance floor here where the tables nice. are. Nice. Okay. And our kitchen's open late. So, Got you know. it. And there's no cover is what no you said. Cover. So, guys, come on out and support this new local band. Right? They're local yes. guys. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. And then you have a darts comp league. And yes. a pool. Do you do pool leagues here as I well? have a pool league on uh, Tuesday nights. They've been with us for 15 years, the same wow. team. And run, then my dart team is... I run two teams out of here as captain on Mondays and Thursdays. Of darts? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And, um, yeah, we're doing very, very well for ourselves. Um, nice. Positively, it's another one of the many bar sports that we play here. Yeah. That we have room for that easily. As well. Yeah. That's, uh, Got dabbling in quite a few right. things, and uh, we just have fun with everything here. That is so cool. So and we're going to be having our South Avenue Shuffle coming yeah, up. Yeah, tell I me about that. I saw that soon. sign. Big event. Um, I, we're shooting for May 21st. Okay. But there is a chance that we may combine the May and October together and do it in June. Okay. So I so did just put stay May posted 21st on. Okay. Out, yeah. So okay. So we'll be keeping you posted on that. Got it. Stay, okay, stay posted. Guys, follow, like them. Um, on Facebook. Right. Yes. Okay. And our bike runs. Give a thumbs up. <laughs> yes. And the bike runs. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. So is there anything else that you would like to share with people? Like little known facts? Anything that you feel like you would like people to know? Uh, just simply just to just give it a try for one time. I, yeah. I, everywhere I go, I hear people saying that, oh, we saw your stuff online. We're like, well, why aren't you coming in? <laughs> right. Come on in. Come like, on looking in. at it doesn't do anything for anybody other than making yourself hungry and you still haven't got <laughs> Oh, why bother? Come on in. You make it sound so simple. And you know what it really is? That simple. Yeah. Guys, My, I my, I am so content right now. I had my coffee, my breakfast. I tried two different wines, and I had a little bit that, that dessert. Mm -hmm. So I am just so content, and it was so delicious. So, thank you yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question that I asked. Oh, real quick, to-go orders. Can they just call, can they call in in order to go? Sure. Okay, awesome. Um, you want to give that phone number real quick? 330-788-7980. Okay, so yeah, you to go people. You, that works for everybody too, especially if you're at the office mm -hmm. or whatever. You guys could call try. I heard, yeah, we're down for a specific time. If yeah, you'd like. okay. Call and just to make sure that you know, what's on the menu is something that you want yeah. to look for. Okay, awesome. Because we do have different specials. Yeah, and okay. even throughout the day too. Like yeah. Somebody just mentioned a yeah. Philly steak, and that's so good. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much everything on the menu can be achieved throughout the week, regardless. Got it. Um, just ask, call in, and ask, and see what's uh what what is can do what for you at that moment got it i love it we okay like to accommodate so okay all right so last but not least other than the east side civics here on midlothian um what do you guys have recommendations for any other great local spots that people should check out or that are your favorites um i have one that's very close to my heart it's giangelo's in boardman okay very good food good drinks oh I, okay um, Next door, our, our uh, one of our employees is uh, working on his own personal business now. Uh, the Brick House, it's doing very successful. Really? Many, many what kind of food is that? 
Um, they're, that's what they, they're just starting now. They're oh. getting that opening. I want you to check them out and see what's on their menu. Oh, I'm going to I think some specials and some bar food. Okay. Uh, All right. And that's right next door to here. Yes. And okay. They have a very wide open uh, setup. So it's like dance, uh, pool leagues, darts. They're they're accommodating as well. And uh, they're just starting up. So everyone who's new, like, we want to try, yeah. try to show that A lot of our customers so, go back and forth. Yeah. They bounce back and forth because it's no. neighbors. And that's really cool that you guys are have that sense of community like that. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah. very, very, very cool. It's important to keep it. Yes. Um, All right. Anything? And then last not least, yeah. the rod. Oh, Dewey okay. The rod. The yeah. Of the Dewey. <laughs> yeah, and they're yeah, coming up um, with some really good specials I see their, on Facebook. Gyros because he, he has a the splendid. Yes, the recipe. splendid gyro on Tuesday. Yeah. Got it. Okay, okay. Now the rod used to be called. Um, the rod. And then before that, I can't. I can't pull it on my head now. Got it. But that's down on Midlothian, right? Now it's on. No. I mean not Midlothian. Um, you have to pull it up. Oh, Powers. Powers, Powers Way. Way. Okay. And Love Got yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I have some friends that go down there and it's love the food down there. Tires. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's perfect. Yep. Right, right. right next door to Elmo's yes. Tires. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. Awesome. And so they have good food as well. Right. Very cool. If you cool. get a blown out tire, you go to Elmo's and get your tire fixed. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Another neighbor's you don't need to, You don't need to sit in the waiting room. Waiting rooms are for suckers. Go grab a sandwich. <laughs> They'll call you when your car is <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I love it. Well, thank you guys so much for taking a minute to talk to me. And uh, guys, since I've been here, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit quiet this morning. But he's been working on online orders, and the kitchen's just been staying busy. Sundays are crazy busy. Um, there's sometimes standing room only. They say so. Make sure you come and check it out. Bring some friends. And they have like a drink special for Sundays as well. So, um, all right. I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you for being the best part of what makes Young Sound click. And come visit Eastside Civics. Ring that buzzer and uh, bring a friend. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.